Okay, so up here you have a control bar with several different tools. The best thing to do in these tools before I create a new chart is to memorize or write down on your piece of paper your, um, your shortcuts, any shortcuts you need to set up in here and just come in and set them up. Like for instance, control seven is going to bring me the arrow shortcut. And in here you come up and you configure the shortcut configure button. So I just right clicked on this configure up here. You can add these, you can add different stuff in here with the configure also. Uh, so much, so much to do. Global settings. Then you got your control bars. You can have your several different control bars that you want to select. Just play around with these. There's, there's a little bit of playing tool configs. You can come in, configure tools in here. But the easiest way is to create your config bar and, and just go through it. You can um, add additional control bars to new charts. You can detach the control bars. You can attach, detach, remove, and so on. Customize control bar. This will just allow you, so again, it's just right clicking on control bar. Come in and add and remove anything you wish in here. If you want additional tool configs and so on and so forth. So add a new config. So just go through anything you want to put in here, you can do it. It's so user friendly once you set it up and make it yours, basically. Super, super user friendly. Um, just to go in there. But just to config, say the arrow as an example, just go in, open the config button and set these up as you wish then to suit your personal preference. And then just hit them save and apply. You can name them if you wish. So then every time, say you go to this one, this will be a totally new one. But anytime you want your configuration, you just click on your tool config number and away you go. You've got your already preset conditions for your tools, your boxes, your arrows, your lines, whatever it may be. Now, to get your lines across, so for instance, we want Alt 8. So any we do our analysis on our higher time frames. And we come in, let's just set this one up. So let's, let's set up a, a nice red line for this. We're going to config for our line, configure the button. Let's get a nice big red line or a green one. Actually, let's go green. Let's set it up to two. Let's come in and set up our labels. We want a nice price label. Yep, we want it on the top maybe. And horizontal line, perfect. Vertical align, bottom. Let's put it on the top. Okay, save, apply. Now, when we put our line in here, here we go. We got our price on top of the line and we got it wherever we want to put it. So, noting that this is chart number one. Any, 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 any tools or studies we put on chart number one, if we want them to populate on another chart, we simply go into that chart, we click, oh, we'll put back on our crosshair here, we simply go into that chart, we hit F5, and we go back to our advanced settings again. Now, down here, we have copy drawings from chart numbers. So any, any drawings that we wish to have on another chart, we simply just add that number in here. So for ours, we have chart number one, we add it, apply. Now, anything that we draw on chart number one is instantly going to populate on our heat map. Not that we want it on there, but just to have it as an example. I'm going to remove that um, now. We stick it on the footprint, apply, okay. But the same applies. So you can do this with every chart. You can just do the exact same. Come in, add whichever charts you want to do your studies or your higher time frame studies, horizontal support resistance, whatever it may be, you're sticking them on there and then they're automatically populating on your previous chart. And away you go. And there's shortcuts then for deleting these tools and all that that you want to memorize um, as you wish. So erase all text. If you're drawing text on your charts, erase all drawings, erase the last drawing. And there's shortcuts for these and you can set these up. Actually, that leads me well. So erase last drawing. Control delete, control delete. That is the easiest way to do it. Control delete, delete, and that'll erase it. But there's um just get familiar with all these. You know where they are, the tools, etc. A very, very handy tool, and you will need it, <coughs> and very handy is to come in and set up your keyboard shortcuts. So any keyboard shortcuts that you don't have. For instance, to, to uh, a really good one to have, let me just go back first. Let me just make this chart bigger. Control Alt X. Let's go to our settings. Let's just turn on all our studies. They can get a little bit noisy when they're all on at first. And we'll just go through setting up a keyboard shortcut for a chart. And you, you, you can do this. We'll do this for the trade as well, for the trading chart. So 
here is our chart with all our studies on here. So there's two methods we can go through at this stage. You can come up here and you can go to analysis and you can hide all studies and then it removes them all at the same time or unhide all studies. And as you can see, I have this set up here with the shortcuts. So when you set up your shortcuts, they will show here. So mine is control alt up arrow and control alt down arrow, up arrow, down arrow. It makes it very quickly if you don't want all the tools on your chart. Um, and to do that, we just go into our global settings, keyboard shortcuts, you come in and you set up all as you wish. Now, an important one to have is trading keyboard shortcuts. This is a really good, uh, among the, uh, the analysis ones, as I've said and showed you already, go through whichever ones you wish. You got your trade ones you can set up, and but your trading keyboard shortcuts are important, especially the flatten and cancel or flatten only, whichever you wish. But flatten and cancel, as you can see, I have mine set up to control, alt, and spacebar. Set this up to one that you feel comfortable with that. If you're in a position and something happens, i.e. your orders get cancelled or you don't get filled on a stop or something and you need to stop and get out of the market quickly, control, alt, and something that you want to get really, really quickly, set that up. Um, it's super, super handy um, to, to, if you want to get into a position. So I'll just stick on sim for a minute, trade, sim mode is on. Okay, so stick on the chart DOM for a minute, trading chart DOM on. If I hit an order here on this chart DOM, okay, we want to turn off that in a minute. But if I want to control all and spacebar, it'll instantly um, enable. Okay, on top of that, make sure that your trading shortcuts, sorry, trade, Make sure that your uh, shortcuts are enabled. So, chart, where is it? Do, 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 tools, tools, uh, spreadsheet, no trade. I thought it was in here. Um, where is the enable chart shortcuts? Here we go. Make sure that this box is ticked. So, trade. Tick the box, and once that's box, now when I hit Control Alt Spacebar, confirm. We'll turn off these. We'll go through this in a minute. We'll turn off this. So just to turn off those guys, just to come back into it again. We're going to get into this now. Actually, this leads me nicely into the next, which is the DOM setup or setting up the DOM. So uh, let's go with uh, this first. So trade. So if we open the trade window for the chart. As you've seen from Daniele's presentation, we just want to go in and switch off those confirmations first. Turn those off, all of them. The last thing you want to do is have that thing popping up when you're trying to get in or get out of a trade. Just turn off all those guys first. Save configuration. So we'll save the configuration. Let's set up our brackets while we're on it. Simple bracket, 10, 10 is fine for now. And we can adjust that as we wish. We want to use the market attached orders. And we want to go to M. Let's save this configuration as a handy one. Auto trading enabled. Customize trade keyboard shortcuts enabled. Customize chart trade DOM columns. Now we'll do that later. In a minute, trading save configuration. Let's just call it config. Config one. Perfect. Save. Now we click up here. We pick our config one and that'll stay anytime we want it. So just that drop down menu. You've got the, the preset ones, but you can create any one of these you wish in here. Just config one, set it up and away you go. So once that's set up, now when we close this guy or leave it on, whichever you wish, we set up our brackets, they automatically come on. We have our control alt spacebar to delete our orders with no pop-ups, nothing. We get out and that's it. So that leads us into the next stage.